Hello YouTube, I'm Trey here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a black wash figure with your Mega Construct or Lego or action figures or any kind of toy that you want to black wash with just three simple things. Water, one dollar paint, acrylic paint, and a paintbrush. Let's I have this right here. And now what I like to paint with is I like a something, no, something like this size and smaller, but I ran out of my smaller ones or can't find them so I'm using this one and um, what I'm gonna do is is get my one dollar paint here you can just go get it at Walmart or Target wherever you're or art store or whatever just get a nice simple paint like this I choose gloss cuz I don't know any better I'm just testing so what you're gonna do is is you get a little bit of this cuz this is all the paint you really need for your figure Yep. And I'm going to move my paint can somewhere farther away so it doesn't spill everywhere. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to kind of do this to the figure. Kind of cover it like if you're going to actually paint it. Like if you get a new custom. But the difference is what you're going to do is that. Then I put the paintbrush in my mouth. And then I wipe it off. Kind of do that. And, um, well, uh, kind of gives it a, look, a, a little black wash, and it doesn't look like it got black wash, you just go over it again like that, or in the creases. And then, again, put the paintbrush in your mouth, and just wipe away, right there. Kind of gets in the creases, and that's what you want. There. So, what it's doing is, it's getting into the creases when you like wipe away the paint because you know you always don't get the paint out of you know the whole thing by just wiping it off. So when I experienced it, I wanted to do like custom, and I was painting and I didn't like it, so I wipe it away. But I notice that, huh, it's not coming out of the creases. And I was like, you know, why haven't we did that with a black wash paint or like I see those black washes ones, and then I just like. I'm like really like get in there and I'm like huh it looks really good and then you just really for this process you keep doing it for a bit cover the visor I don't really do visors but I'm doing this one because it's a big one you keep doing this process over and over again until it looks like it got into every single crease yeah and sometimes if you want if it is like something like armor like this, what I do is I can just add like little like scratches there. So I'm like kind of painting it. Just get a little like sometimes scratches there and put something down there. Yeah, it looks like you he gets it all scratched up so he doesn't look like he's just a shiny or something. He looks like he's been combat and stuff. I mean, it just makes it look cool. And I'm going to show you what's going to look like after you do just the repeats that I just taught you. And here we are. So this is the finished product if you follow the rules of or follow what I just said with, you know, just wiping the paint off and doing that. And it ends, it ends looking like this. Sorry for my talking. I cannot talk straight when I'm on camera. But, uh... I really like it. It's not really one of my. It's one of the good work I did, but I didn't really finish it. I guess there's some spots I missed. Sorry, I lift it up, but I think it looks really good. Cause I'm just really gotten bored of the generic like, you know, pre-made painted. And then recently I just like um, customized this figure, this ODST actually. And actually, true fact is, the ODST post that I made on my community page. If you look that up. This is actually a different one because I lost the chest piece of this and I was super duper sad about it. And then I just bought another one and then I was like, you know what? Let's make it better because, um, again, black washing also helps because with misprints. Because this person had like misprints over him. Like he had like blue back here and stuff. And you kind of see it right there on the dot right there. That dot. You won't pay attention. But. Yeah, it really helps with that stuff because the black washing can um, like just flush that away in the misprints and it just makes it look more 
just more better and more battle ready and then it'll be great for your animations because if you make a good landscaping or anything it just looks great sorry I like to fill with characters so again I hope this tutorial was good for you and if it's not you can dislike you can like I don't care because you know what I just made this tutorial for people who want to learn how to blackwash figures for a really cheap price I mean I bet it's all cheap but like you probably have to go to an art store and then you probably have to go find it and then really what I just did is I went to my local Walmart I just got regular black acrylic paint it's gloss I know but like for instance all it and then just yeah it's just way cheaper that way I got it for a dollar and then you can just make things like this it might not look fully cool to other black washers or like oh yeah that doesn't look cool whatever I just don't care I I really like it and for the people who want to do it cheaper just go to your Walmart Target just go to the paint section or paint section sorry and just get the black or whatever color you want you can you can do any color you want you can blue wash it you can red wash it I don't care and actually that will work for more like um, black figures like this he's missing a leg but for black lit figures like this you can um you can actually different color because the black wash won't appear on them so actually you can do that for any kind of paint and really just get a small paintbrush I bet they're like if you get a little set of it or just find a paintbrush that's small enough to go on this figure for like a dollar or five just go home start on it and yeah it, it look, looks great and you can animate with them there's no scratching off with them like even you kind of scratch that little minor detail off you still have that black wash figure it's not like you're gonna get all this off of it so this is permanent you can't get rid of it for those who want to say oh can you get rid of it no you, you cannot get rid of it but if you did a sharpie version you kind of can it's just will wash off all the printing of the figure and just looks like a plain generic figure without coating so you can't do that with sharpie but i warn you if you want it off this is going to erase everything but again i hope you enjoyed this video if you subscribe that's great if you don't that's fine i hope the tutorial was just all enough for your needs for coming here and if you want to like again go ahead if you don't that's fine i don't really care i just want to help people out and um comment down below if you want to see more tutorials how to make your mega constructs or lego or action figures look cool and that's pretty much it I have for all you guys. So make sure you have a great day or an awesome day. And I'll tune in with you guys later. Bye.